Hello everyone, myself Asutosh Sajari and in this series of video you are going to learn about computer maintenance and troubleshooting. Computer maintenance and troubleshooting is the subject of fifth semester diploma computer and computer engineering students of GT. In the first video I will introduce you to the subject of computer maintenance and troubleshooting. First start by breaking down the subject name. What is computer, what is maintenance and what is troubleshooting? First, what is computer? Computer is a programmable electronic device which processes the data and gives us output. Process in the terms of it will store the data, it will, it will retrieve the data and it will manipulate the data. In, in your curriculum, in your life till now, you have heard many things about computer, so what computer can do. In order to make computer perform better, we have to do timely maintenance of computer. So what is maintenance? For example, we service our bike and car. Why we service our bike and car? Because it will, when we service our bike and car, it will give us, it will increase the lifespan of bike and car. Similarly for the computer, if we maintain computer properly, it will increase the lifespan of computer and for example, if you do the virus scan, virus scan is a type of maintenance. If you do the virus scan and remove some of, some of the viruses, then you can restore the speed of computer and restore the performance of your computer to the previous initial level of your computer. So maintenance is necessary to increase lifespan of computer and increase the speed, performance and other criteria. In our subject, we are not just learning about maintenance, we are learning about preventive maintenance. So why, why, why preventive maintenance? Because if we do maintenance before any error arises, so if we properly maintain the computer using preventive maintenance, then we can reduce the errors generated afterwards. So preventive maintenance is necessary to reduce potential errors. And if error arises, what you can do? You can, what you can do is troubleshooting. In troubleshooting, we, what we do, we diagnose the, we diagnose the problem. And after diagnosing, after diagnosing the problem, we will repair the problem. So we can perform our day-to-day -day task properly. First of all, I am going to tell you about different units of the subject. The first unit is inside the computer's core component. What are the core, comp core components of the computer? So in the first unit, we are going to learn about core components. Before we learn about the core components, we are going to learn about the history of the computer, when computer is invented, how, how many generations are, the are of the computer and what are the differences of, that, the, of those generations. Then we learn about different components of computer like monitor, keyboard, mouse, processor, motherboard and other, other components. Then we are going to learn about ports which are available in your computer. We are going to learn about components in detail like motherboard, CPU, RAM, BIOS, bus and chipset. That's, that's our first unit. In the second unit we are going to learn about storage devices. Storage devices like hard disk and DVD drive and Blu-ray drive. Blu we are going to learn about internal structure of hard disk like hard disk physical structure and logical structure and we are going to then we are going to learn about dvd and blu-ray disk drive in the third unit we are going to learn about input devices and printer the input devices like keyboard mouse scanner and one device uh, one other device called printer the printer is not input device but it is it is in or curriculum of unit 3 along with input devices. So third unit is input devices and print, printer. In the keyboard, mouse and scanner, we are going to learn about internal structure of keyboard, mouse and scanner and also as well as printer. In the fourth unit, we are going to learn about monitor and display adapter. Before learning the monitor, we are going to learn about basics of video like pixel, resolution and all that. Then we are going to learn about different types of display available in the market. Then we are going to learn about different types of 
graphics card available in the market and its use for gaming and other purposes. And then in the fifth unit, we are going to learn about troubleshooting and preventive maintenance. So you can see that first four units are basically an introduction of your computer parts. And in the fifth unit, we are going to learn about how to maintain those parts and how to troubleshoot if the and if any problem arises. So in order to maintain and troubleshoot, we are going to learn about post. Post troubleshooting procedures, maintenance tools like software maintenance tools and hardware maintenance tools, maintenance tools. Software maintenance tools like disk cleanup, antivirus scan and hardware maintenance tools like multimeter and other various digital tools to maintain our hardware. And now we are going to learn about importance of the subject. So what is the importance of subject? In this subject, we are going to learn basics of computer hardware. I guess in your till now, till this point in any, in your life, you will you, you have basic idea of about what is computer and what are its parts. But we are going to learn in detail about what are the components of the computer, like monitor, keyboard. We are going to learn internal structure of the of those devices, we are going to learn internal structure of processor, internal structure of motherboard, like that. And we are going to learn about basics of every com every components of computer. Why we are going to learn basic first? Because basics are necessary to understand advanced technologies and basics are easy to learn. In your third semester, in your MLP subject, you will learn about microprocessors. Why didn't you learn about i7 latest 10th generation i7 processors? Because it's hard to understand. You learn about 8085 and 8086, which are basic microprocessor and easy to learn. And if you know about 8085 and 8086, then you can learn about advanced microprocessors like Pentium, Rise, Pentium, i7, Core i7, Core 2 Duo, and like that. It's easy to learn advanced fundamentals because you will learn about basics first. The second advantage of the subject is it will help you buy a new computer. It will help you perform proper maintenance of your computer and it will help you troubleshoot if any problem you face. So in why it will be helpful to buy you a new computer because you already know about what are the parts of the computer, what is the latest configuration of the computer, what are the different types of computer configuration available in the market and you can judge their prices according to their functionalities and advanced functionalities. So you can compare the different types of hardware and you can you can decide properly that what hardware is suitable for my needs. Here are some of the prerequisites you should know before you start to learn these subjects. Some of those are you have already studied in your previous semester and some of those are general things that you should know by now in your technical life. So first one is basic idea about, about microprocessor architecture. The second is what is bus and types and organization of different buses. Next is types of memory, RAM, ROM etc. Et and basic idea about all the components of computer system. What are the different components which make the computer system? What are the least and best components available in the market? And what configuration you need for your new computer? So in this video, you learn about what is computer maintenance and troubleshooting. In the next videos, we are going to learn about internal components of the computer and how to maintain the computer and how to troubleshoot if any problem arises. Thank you.